do a little unboxing video on this uh, Harbor Freight Titanium MiG-140. We'll just uh, be taking things out of the box this time. Won't fire it up quite yet. I don't have any gas and I'm not quite ready to try the flux inside. Um, but we'll at least take a look at uh, what's inside one of these boxes. I picked this up recently. Uh, it was they're running a coupon for right now, so regular price I believe is $3.99 and this was $3.50. I've never welded before, but that has never stopped me from trying something new. I've got a rusty old Mustang behind me that's going to need a wee bit of welding. We'll have floors and rockers and fenders and frame and well, you know just about everything on that little car behind me so just can't kind of hire this out and hopefully it won't make a giant mess all right here we go and instructions well since we're not going to be welding today we don't need that. We've got some replacement parts here. Nozzle tip. Looks like maybe some wire feeds. Different diameters. And then I believe this is a wheel, a drive wheel in there. That piece is there. And then spool wire. This is solid wire. So this is the one you'd use with gas. So I'll be looking into getting a gas canister for this thing. A lot of people think this wire is total crap and just to chuck it immediately. I think it'll be quite fine for just practicing for now. And this is a flux core cord wire. Um, also, probably not the best quality out there, but you know, for just firing it up and getting the feel for what a welder does, I think I'll be okay for right now. And then, We've got a nozzle. Oh, this is for the regulator. I'm guessing. There we go. Uh, this is quite hefty. Um, that's a good chunk of uh, brass right there. Uh, I think uh, people do say that you, well, you can get better. This isn't too shabby, so I'm going to go with that for now. Filter in there. These gauges are, you know, they're okay. They're not filled or anything, just plastic. Round cable and hose. Again, some of the reviews I've heard have said uh, the ground clamp is okay. Uh, it's a uh, definitely give you a workout so um, and it does have a round type mounts here which some people prefer some people don't really like but uh, it'll definitely clamp that is for sure and then this should be the gas line um, from that regulator we just saw a good sign when they've got large uh, markings on here and it's spelled correctly that's always a good sign and then i got a welder and again this is a 120 uh, volt welder. Um, now for traditional welders, um, this would probably be pretty inadequate, uh, but this is an inverter uh, technology in this welder. So apparently you can get away with a lot less voltage. You don't have to have the 220 um, and it'll still put out a great spark. So this is a seriously substantial cable too. 14 uh, gauge. That's a, that's a, that's a cable. And the front here, we've got the power cord and you have the different uh, settings here for the uh, type of wire that you have. So whether it's positive or negative ground, so there's that. And then 
being of uh, the digital generation, there's tons of welders out there, um, but the infinite um, uh, the infinite dials here and the digital readouts are, are just one of those things that kind of push me over the edge. Uh, just because I like to be able to dial things in and see the actual numbers and, uh, and we'll see if that actually makes much of a difference there. And then inside we've got the gun of course. And again, this uh, this welder will uh, handle an aluminum spool, spool gun. Uh, further down the road, I might try to brave that. We'll see. We'll see if I can just kind of do some of the basics first. Again, uh, pretty substantial uh, cabling on this. Definitely not cheap whatsoever. And then the other thing to note is uh, the all-metal construction in here. Apparently some of the very cheap welders this uh, mechanisms in here will all be plastic but you can definitely see that's not the case here we're really substantial uh, alloy casting here quite nice and then of course your cable holder for your different sizes i believe even uh, a nice big one here Well, let's just take a couple things apart because what could we possibly break? There we go. And that's spring loaded. And again, we got the one for the smaller size here, which I think just gets the wing nut back on there. And then I think if you have a larger spool, that may go over for the larger spools. And again, this is a reverse thread. I don't know if I need to lube that or it should be nice and tight anyway so we'll leave that for now so there's how the wire feeds in there Looks like uh i'll probably have to review the video to see exactly how this goes back together i'm gonna take a wild guess that the spring goes between the two washers that's a key those are keyed washers in there too uh, this wing nut is a standard thread as opposed to the large screw there, which is a reverse thread. And that looks like it also sets your tension. Uh, tons of information up here on the door for all of your settings. So far from the reviews I saw, it's uh, pretty accurate. So hopefully um, it'll be easy to, to start going and, and cranking this thing up and learning how to weld. All right. Again... I'll have a future video and just uh, see how this thing actually works. I've got a helmet somewhere. I've got some gloves. Probably well, one thing I'm missing the most is a good practicing scrap weld, scrap scrap metal for welding on. So I'll have to start building up that pile. All right. Thanks for watching.